Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. And I'm still reviewing the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Um, I didn't see The Dark Knight Rises yet, but uh, I might see it on Sunday, hopefully. And before I start the review, I want to take the time to um, give out my love and um, condolences to um, all the... Uh, the parents or people who lost their um, their children uh, or friends in this um, this Colorado theater shooting that happened today, um, this whole travesty. Um, all of you might you know know what happened because it's been on the news all day. Uh, apparently, there was this man named James Holmes, and he, they posted a picture of him. Um, he looks really, really pedoph pedophilistic or pedophile with um this smirk what is smirk on his face like like that and apparently what happened um he went into this Colorado theater during the midnight screen of the Dark Knight Rises and he entered the theater uh from the uh fire exit from what I've heard uh, and from what I've read um and he entered the theater and this tear gas went off in the theater and people started people thought that this was part of the uh, you know the whole movie and um, apparently he took out his gun uh, after the tear gas and then just started shooting at people in the theater um, apparently 12 people were killed and um, 59 other people were injured and it's just really a travesty uh, about what happened um, I've heard uh, that there was a six-year-old in the in the, that theater and a six-month-old uh, baby. It's just really crazy. And this all happened in Aurora, Colorado. Um, but there's gonna be I'm gonna post a link to this story uh, right down here, uh, so you all could read it. And there's some videos uh, explain about more of this whole travesty. But uh, just like I said, I wanted to take the time to send out uh, my love and, um, you know, appreciations, condolences out to all the um, uh, people uh, who lost either their, uh, their children or our friends in this travesty. And apparently Warner Brothers, from what I've heard, is now, now wants to take The Dark Knight Rises out, uh, out of theaters around the country. Um, some because of that whole uh, travesty. Uh, apparently there was supposed to be a uh, Paris uh, premiere tonight for the movie, but they canceled that you know, because of this whole travesty. But it's just a shame what happened. Um, just really is. Uh, now there's nothing more else I can say about that. It's just uh, shocking. And uh, also they hired, uh, theaters hired a uh, police to search people uh, for carrying you know weapons and all like that when they go see the movie so I don't know if my theory is gonna have uh, that uh, you know searching but who knows maybe so yeah so anyways on to the review and it's gonna be on the uh, Dark Knight uh, my favorite uh, movie of this trilogy and apparently the best in this trilogy, this movie. And I remember seeing this when it first came out in the summer of 2008. Um, I saw it in IMAX and it was really, really great experience uh, to see this movie on an IMAX screen. And that was the first time I've been to an IMAX. And uh, when you see the scenes like aerial shots of Gotham City, it feels like you're flying. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you will you know agree with me on that but that's how I felt when I saw the movie in IMAX and the you know like I said the I like the IMAX is great um, but you know I haven't seen this movie since you know then since I saw it in IMAX you know after I saw it and then I just rewatched it today and uh, I liked it I, I thought it was a good movie when I saw it in IMAX and Rewatching it, I rewatched it today. It's still one of my favorite uh, 
movies in this trilogy, and probably the best. And it's still a good movie. Um, of course, it's directed by Christopher Nolan, and um, also stars Christian Bale, reprising his role as Bruce Wayne Batman. Uh, Michael Caine reprises his role as Alfred the Butler. Uh, also stars Heath Ledger, who all of you know as the Joker. Gary Oldman, who uh, reprises his role as uh, Sergeant Gordon, but in this movie he becomes a lieutenant. And then I'll explain later on. But you, all of you know what happens. Also stars Aaron Eckhart as Harvey Dent, uh, a.k.a. Two-Face. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Uh, and Morgan Freeman, who reprises his role as Fox. But uh, everyone knows what uh, The Dark Knight is about. You know, it's about Bruce Wayne, who's played by Christian Bale, and uh, a.k.a. Batman. Uh, he tries to save Gotham City from uh, the Joker, who is played by uh, Heath Ledger. And apparently, he Heath Ledger never got to uh, see this movie because this movie came out... Uh, after he, uh, I think it was before, because, yeah, he, he died before this movie even came out, because he died in January of 2008. Uh, it's a shame that he never got to, you know, see it. Um, it's a shame what happened to He Ledger. He was a great actor. Um, just really, really great. And he has to say with... Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, has to save it from the Joker, and also Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face, who was played by Aaron Eckhart, who did a really great job as both Harvey Dent and Two-Face. And the Two-Face, um, the Two-Face, uh, looked really great. Uh, the makeup looked great. Um, also, I think Aaron Eckhart was right for the role. And, uh, you have, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, who plays, uh, Rachel Dawes, her character, and, you know, she, when, uh, Katie Holmes played in Batman Begins, and, of course, she's this, the, uh, assistant direct, district attorney, and, uh, Bruce Wayne's, uh, childhood friend, uh, Harvey Dent, uh, Two-Face is also a district attorney who was hailed as, uh, Gotham City's White Knight, um, you know, Gary Oldman, who plays James Gordon, uh, he was a sergeant in Batman Begins, and then in this film, he was a lieutenant. Then uh, later on, he became the commissioner because uh, one of the commissioners was killed by the Joker. And uh, now also you have also Alfred, who was played by Michael Caine, really, really good. Um, he's uh, really great in both Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Um, what, what more else can I say about the Dark Knight? Um, um, I like the scenes, uh, a lot of good scenes in this movie with, uh, Heath Ledger, who practically steals, you know, the movie, uh, who steals the show, and, um, I just really loved his performance in this movie, uh, better than, uh, you know, Jack Nicholson, and, well, I, li I like Jack Nicholson in Tim Burton's original Batman, but, uh, he was a he ledger was a lot better than uh, you know Cesar Romero um, and Jack Nicholson. That's my opinion though. But I still love Cesar Romero and Jack Nicholson. I thought they did uh, great playing the joke, you know, the Joker. Um, Cesar Romero did it in a com you know a campy way, and Jack Nicholson did it as a uh, sort of serious. But he was acting a little bit like Cesar Romero from the uh, '60s uh, show. But in this one, Heat Ledger took it to a really dark performance um, as the Joker, in my opinion. Uh, Love the scene with him as the uh, nurse in the hospital. That was really funny. And, of course, the, uh, the magic trick with the pencil where he slams uh, Michael Jai White's uh, face into it and the pencil disappears. That was really cool. Um, and, of course, he was... He won the Oscar, Heath Ledger, uh, for his performance in this movie. Uh, so, yeah, that's what more can I say about The Dark Knight? It's a really good movie. Um, I would really, really recommend it. It's the best in the trilogy and uh, the best Batman movie in this trilogy. And I love this uh, 
DVD art of this. It's really, really cool. So yeah, so I would recommend this movie if you love uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman movies. And, you know, it's just, uh, like I said, a really, really good movie. And that's it for my review of The Dark Knight. Um, well, it wasn't wasn't like my greatest review because I know a lot of you have seen The Dark Knight and knows what happens. So yeah, so that's it for my review. Thank you all for watching. And until the next video, which will be probably a review of The Dark Knight Rises, um, I'll see you all later.